हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज जेवीएन डॉक्टर देवेंद्र कुमार गोरा फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मैथोलॉजी ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेंस यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ कंचन सीता वी विल डिस्कस सम रिमेनिंग पॉइंट्स फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर प्ले इन दिस प्ले नायर ट्राई टू गिव द वॉइस टू द करेक्टर्स दैट आर नॉट इवन able to speak up their version so here in this play the character of formila and kosala both are female characters who remain silent in the epic version of ramayana formila speaks very less even kosala being a motherly figure and the queen of king dasrath she speaks quite very relevant things but here in kanchan sita both the characters that are quite sharp and very assertive they raise their voice they even don't raise their voice they questions the male authority they question the patriarchy they question the dominance of male over the female characters here we will begin with urmila's character urmila who is the wife of lakshman in epic version and even in kanchan sita she confronts very not worthy of her, her unrestrained love for her sister sita her life is depicted in kanchan sita at one level also become a strife and a struggle to seek justice for sita when everyone try to compel ram to take new wife when he was thinking of conducting asmeg yagya and in asmeg yagya there is a need of a wife to perform this yagya and that time sita was in an exile so as her her substitute her idol of that is made of golden was actually presented at that particular time so urmila even dare to ask the king ram who is renowned well known and popular even out of her his empire for a sense and knowledge of dharma she questions him why doesn't punish himself for preferring to accept a new bride he shall not accept a new bride that was the stand of formula in favor of her sister uh, sita in this manner at the very juncture wet whenever justice is meted out to sita it is urmila who every time stands up for her fights for her and in this way the author the playwright nayar has very deftly captures sisterly love and affection in all its quietness by portraying urmila who is devoted to her sister as is lakshmana to rama in the original narratives of the epic ramayan essentially uh, a very passive character Uh, but here urmila in kanchan sita stands in total contrast to the original tale of her passionate and intense emotion outburst her life further becomes a study to how education and learning empowers a woman and boosts her confidence for here we find who is more aware of her strength her own potential has a courage to freely express her views and opinions thou recreated version of urmila in the play and the play right try to represent the woman community the dire need to revolt and rebel against the inhuman patriarchal notion and force it upon them urmila in this way becomes a symbol of awareness and a spirit of modern woman now there is another character 
द कैरेक्टर ऑफ कौशल्या हु इज पोर्ट्रेड इन राम वाल्मीकि रामायणा द फर्स्ट वाइफ ऑफ किंग दशरथ एंड द मदर ऑफ लॉर्ड रामा सी इज इलस्ट्रेटेड इन द एपिक एज ए मदर हु लवज हर बिलाउड सन वेरी मच इन फैक्ट इन रामायणा द वर्जन ऑफ वाल्मीकि इट इज इलस्ट्रेटेड दैट कौशल्या फेल डाउन टू द अर्थ लाइक द बो ऑफ हर शोल ट्री लेफ्ट by the acts of the foresters so this is drastically the image of kaushalya it could totally contradict from from the image in epic here in kanchan sita where the character of kaushalya undergoes a radical transformation and becomes yet another character who shines and anadli radiance in nayar's depth hands mother to the king she assumes a prominent assertive role in kanchan sita and opposes the original version of valmiki's ramayana kaushalya is represented in this play as a woman who even thou beyond by the royal duties and she is enforced upon by her patriarchal society is struggle to find her voice and existence in the turmoil so so is quite sensible very judicious woman who can distinguish between the rights and the wrongs that are committed by her son in the name of dharma and the emotionally charged scenes where kosala laments ram's insult meted out by the call of motherhood when the latter commands sita to prove her chastity in front of her son is indeed hard rendering her words daughter i caught perhaps i heard the like sacrifice this is symbolic of her own life and the kosala in kanchan sita becomes embodiment of the sacrifice pain who tries to rest best of be the spokesperson of the voiceless whose voice has not been listen by anyone in patriarchal society thank you very much